Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory, honor is due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. Noise in the gospel, Rod, lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Um, this is just a quick lesson to the spirit, a little update on this uh, Hurricane Ida out there in uh, the, the Gulf Coast. Okay, it went through uh, Louisiana and different parts of the Gulf Coast. And if you notice, a lot of our people, man, you know, of the nation of Israel, so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American, Hispanic, Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans uh, make up a, uh, mainly Negro descent, the Levites make up a good portion in the Benjamite of the Gulf Coast region, or the, 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 the how can I say it, the, uh, the uh, islands, so to speak, okay? So um, the Lord is bringing heavy judgment on the planet Earth, and, um, it was a picture that came out like when they're given the synopsis of the storm uh the numbers 144 came out i actually have that screenshot and i sent it to the brothers uh probably put it in post-production as a thumbnail but uh yeah man so all hell is getting ready to break loose you know on top of everything that's going on in the world the most high has uh, a straight judgment in the form of these natural disasters some man-made psalm is orchestrated through angels but nonetheless it's all through the most high okay he's getting ready to rise up and judge this planet earth so this is a video right here that i'm gonna play and uh I'll just get a couple of precepts and leave it at that because this is they, they're calling this worse than hurricane katrina i think hurricane katrina was like a a category three you know what i'm saying a category three this is a category four they stated by the time it hit inland it would become a category one, but quickly it was gonna do a lot of devastation. So, um, here we go. This is live footage, actually. So you see right there, man, and that just to name a few, that thing has destroyed a lot, a lot of homes. They said that 620,000 people was without power towards the beginning. So just imagine how many uh, families and so forth are complacent because of during the time of Hurricane Katrina, man, uh, the Edomites down there, they was literally trying to destroy Jake, man. You know what I'm saying? They had this anything darker than a brown, brown paper bag, they was going to get got. So brothers down there, you know, be careful, be circumspect, because after these storms, you're going to have authorities and FEMA and so forth that's going to come and look for remnants. But overall, man, you know, there's going to be a lot, a lot of confusion down there because this is a lot of times, this is times that uh, people can enact, they, they can act out their uh, atrocities, their hate towards one another, mainly you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And ultimately, because the Most High has his face set against you because you were wicked, man. And you're still being wicked. You know, Jake haven't repented. So therefore, hey, the Most High is going to continue to throw these judgments on you. And we've been warning you, you know, the man of the Lord telling our people to repent. Because, hey, man, Louisiana, there's some wicked-ass Jakes down there. You know, they have some which is called Mardi Gras and Bourbon Street. Man, the type of abomination that goes on there. Fucking uh, uh, abominable food, shellfish crawfish orgies you know uh, uh lesbians all that stuff takes place down there in that land so therefore hey it's no coincidence that the most high is coming to clean you up but even then you're still not going to repent okay you're still not going to uh, uh uh 
follow the ways of Yahweh Vashim Yahweh Shai, you're still not going to seek out the prophets, the men of the Lord, to, to you know, uh, uh, get out of a hot water or a hot jam. Because the scriptures do call the saviors in the roundabout way. We are considered saviors as well. We're not the savior, but we are saviors because we can bring you to the savior through this information. And that's the spirit. It says here, one million without. Oh well, it's Doppel Seven. He just uploaded something. Let's see what he's talking about. It says, it says without power, one million without power. Nine one one system offline. Catastrophic transmission damage from Hurricane Ida. See, call Allah Yahweh Bashim outside, man. That's judgment. And nine one one, this could be a purge down there right now. All hell could be breaking loose. And you know it's going to be a lot of robbery and looting and so forth. Because when things like this happen, as I just mentioned, people look forward to going down there and, and, and stirring up mischief, stirring up drama, all that stuff. Okay? So anyway, uh, let me get a preset. This is the book of uh, Isaiah 28, and I'm going to start at verses 2. It says, Behold, the Lord have a mighty and a strong one, okay, which as tempest of hell and destroying the storm, as a flood of mighty waters, Overflowing shall cast down to the earth with the head. Okay, so hey, that's what's happening, and it's gonna happen in several other states. It's happened in Florida before. It's happened down in New York. It's happened in South America. I mean, not South America. South Carolina, North Carolina, Key West, the islands, the tropics. You know, earthquakes out there in Cali. They're still talking about the big one, which is the one that's supposed to uh, hit the San Andreas fault. The one that they got that movie was called San Andreas. Basically, they had a goddamn mega quake. I think like a nine seven on a Richter scale. That's not even considered an earthquake. That's considered a ma a, ma a, a major quake or a, a mega quake, Salakia. Okay, in a mega quake, you have lots of lies, casualties, etc. And what you how would I say? In Matthew twenty four says that should be earthquakes in diverse places, and those earthquakes not only go into ground tremors, it goes into storms too. It goes into uh, storms, it goes into earthquakes, it goes into uh, wildfires, you know, floods, tsunamis. They were talking about tornadoes, fire tornadoes. Crops in California are burning by the dust for about hundreds of thousands of acres, man. 70,000 acres, 80,000 acres destroyed in a matter of hours, easily. So you can't tell me that there's nothing spiritual going on in the earth, man. This whole earth is literally burning, and yet. Jake is out there blind and complacent, not even trying to figure out what's going on. That's why the scriptures say that, look, man, in Second Edges, it said that they didn't believe the prophets of old. They don't even believe the prophets now. So therefore, when all hell break loose, they're going to get caught up in it. Because I always say that all hell is going to break loose once the Lord finally closed the curtain on the truth. Because we're still on the grace, still have a merciful period. But right when the Most High takes us off the street, judgment is going to follow immediately after that. I'm certain of that, man. You know? And it says here, and the and it says, the crown of the pride of the drunkards of Ephraim should be tried on the feet. Okay? Ephraim represents the entire northern kingdom because you have northern kingdom down in those particular regions too. The Gulf region. You got Mexico down there, the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, you got uh, Mexico City, you got Texas, it's a lot of Native Americans and a lot of uh uh Iskarites down there, man. Okay, it's a lot of Levites and Benjamites in uh, Louisiana. It's a lot of Judites down there, too. And you got some guy down there. All right. So anyway, I'm going to play this video from Dabu. And um, we're going to get a couple more precepts and we're going to shut it down. The point is being made. Who else wants to get a new metal roof installed for $89? Click the link below this video before tonight. This is Dabu7, an update to what's happening in Louisiana here after being hit by Hurricane Ida. It has left all of New Orleans without power, and it's due to what they're calling a catastrophic transmission damage that has happened because of this storm. Now, of course, this thing came in and hit at a Category 4, very near Category 5, Damn. packing big winds and dropping a lot of rain. We've seen areas, certain highways, completely underwater. Those that did not evacuate, stuck in that area. They go on here showing clips of the damage. Remarkable wind damage, tearing places apart, just stripping the siding and the roofs 
off of many of these buildings out here. This is the scene over and over again as they go block to block to block. And hey, I need, and this is the most hot doing this. Like, why do you think these tropical storms or these, these mega storms are hitting this particular region all the time? The Lord is sending these people a message, bro. He just said that that was damn near a category five, man. Okay, that's, 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 that's dangerous. A category five? I don't know. If, I don't even know if that's ever been a Category Five. If, they, if it was, then I, I I haven't got wind of it. I don't even think Hurricane Katrina was Category Five. You know what I'm saying? Then it may have been, but from what I thought, I thought it was only like a Category Three uh, on the cusp of four. I could be wrong, but nonetheless, this is still a powerful storm, man. You know what I'm saying? And hey, 911 not being accessible, it's it's a purge out there. And I remember, uh, I think it was last year, like when the pandemic started. They had the uh, purge horn to, to tell the curfew, you know, when nighttime come, they would sound a horn from the purge, you know what I'm saying, to get people's attention. And people was kind of making parody spoofs over it, but nonetheless, man, that's that's symbolic because it's literally a purge coming to America. Most High's getting ready to purge America for his wickedness. All right. You're trying to look for survivors and people that need help in this situation. See here more clips, more images as they just keep on going, saying that the nine the nine one one system is now offline. They're saying one million plus people without power mm. in the region. Prayers going out to everyone out there. And this landfall was on the 16th anniversary of Katrina. See, that was a Category Three that dumped torrential rains a long time ago. All right, so all right, I was right, Katrina was a category three all right so this was worse than katrina so this being a category four it had the potential to bring more damage so with everyone out there dealing with this it's going to take some time to get the power back up and to get over this as it always does but hopefully the city can recover quickly seeing that they do have some upgraded uh stuff Damn, New Orleans is totally in the dark, man. Shit. Hey, that that place is heavy. That place is full of that place is full of witchcraft, man. Ain't no type of telling what type of ghouls or goblins is gonna come out and start putting hell on people, man. New Orleans is a very, very dark. That's a very, very Louisiana and New Orleans itself. That's a very dark city, man. All right, I wouldn't want to get caught out there. I wouldn't want to get caught out there. I mean, that th that city is, is really not the city to be fucking around. It's a lot of witchcraft out there, man. And the fact the whole city is in darkness, too, that's scary as hell. You know? Out there, they have some upgraded uh, flood walls and surge protection that has been put in place. And here is a shot here of, look at that wall of water behind this guy. Insane damage down there. Again, prayers going out to those that need it. I'm going to update on this on the live show. Make sure to join me Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, only on DLive, where we can talk censorship free about everything that's going down. Hope to see you there. Much love. Naloxone? Yeah, the Most High's not fucking around, man. That ain't nothing. Like, you think that's something? Wait until the Most High really set this whole ordeal off. Alright, so this is the book. Isaiah 29 and I'm going to start at verse 6 it says here and thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake great noise with wind with storm and tempests and the flame of devouring fire okay which really all represents those nuclear missiles but it says here with storm and with tempests okay and with devouring fire we had a soul a, a fire nato in california last year man a tornado made of fire bro that's different you know what i'm saying so hey man all hell is getting ready to break loose and you israelites down there like he said pray only people i'm worried about and concerned about is the brothers down there I, we don't give a damn about the rest of you people you people gonna be destroyed all right because you ain't right any goddamn way all right so I got one more precept here. Several more precepts we can get, but for the sake of time and me being on the road, uh, I, I'm just put the ones that come to my mind. Second Edges 8, and I'm going to start 50. It says, For many great miseries should be done to them 
that in the latter half should dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride and all this is really due to their pride you know this is due to the pride of, of you Israelites you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans man alright the man of the Lord is out there teaching you the truth and yet you still retract on it and you buck up so the most high is going to leave you where you stand but anyway with that all praises and glory honor that's due to you how about you how is shy double honor to the elders the apostles the great millstone blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect with that shalom and the bible ball